A warm greeting. Today is Saturday, February 3, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. Just over a month and a half ago, I recorded a video talking about the sea surface temperatures in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. I discussed how this could provide a preview of the cyclonic activity we might experience during this year's hurricane season in 2024. I wanted to record this video to provide an update on the changes that have occurred and the preliminary indicators that suggest the 2024 hurricane season could be quite active in the Caribbean and the Atlantic regions. Specifically, in this video, we will discuss the ENSO conditions and how the El Niño phenomenon is expected to weaken rapidly in the coming months. It is highly likely that La Niña may develop by the peak of the season. We will also talk about the warmer than usual temperature anomalies prevailing in the surface waters of the Atlantic and the Caribbean Sea. Towards the end of the video, we will look at the latest forecast from the global model CONSIPS, released just a few days ago. This model indicates the possibility of a more active season than usual. In the graph, you can see in red and yellow the areas representing warmer than usual temperatures. In the equatorial Pacific region, temperatures remain very warm, typical of the strong El Niño phenomenon, although it is showing signs of weakening rapidly in the coming months. Additionally, Observe the subtropical Atlantic and tropical Atlantic regions where temperatures continue to be hotter than usual, similar to what we observed during the 2023 hurricane season, the fourth most active on record. Note that sea surface temperature anomalies in the main cyclonic development zone continue to be above normal. Since the beginning of the year, ocean surface temperature anomalies have remained more than one degree above normal. One of our main concerns this year is that there won't be enough time for these temperatures to cool significantly, leading to a high probability of warmer than usual temperatures at the peak of the season. Regarding ENSO conditions, note that El Niño is still present, remaining strong in the Pacific, and is expected to persist until April at least. However, the probabilities dramatically increase for the development of La Niña or neutral conditions at the beginning of the hurricane season. Especially during the months of August, September, and October, where there is a 65% chance of La Niña development, a 30% chance of neutral conditions, and only a 5% chance of El Niño continuation. In other words, there is a 95% chance of neutral or La Niña conditions, historically representing more favorable conditions for cyclonic formation in the Atlantic. NOAA's forecast will be updated in the coming days, so stay tuned for further updates. Although the animation of temperature anomalies over the last 90 days shows continued warmth in the equatorial Pacific surface, a profile analysis reveals a colder mass just below the surface, east of Asia, likely to move towards the surface in the coming months, possibly leading to a rapid weakening of the El Niño phenomenon. It is highly likely that by summer, we will have neutral conditions and possibly the development of La Niña. This is precisely what the global CONSIPS model shows. In its latest update on January 31st, you can see that for the months of August, September, and October, the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season, there are colder than usual temperatures in the Pacific near the equator. This represents the La Nina phenomenon, unfortunately combined with warmer temperatures in the North Atlantic and the main cyclonic development zone. In fact, the distribution of warmer than usual surface temperatures in the latest CONSIPS model forecast represents the most dangerous scenario for the formation of storms and hurricanes across the tropical Atlantic and the Caribbean Sea. Furthermore, observe the forecast for barometric pressure anomalies, indicating below normal pressure in blue. This could be an indicator of more favorable conditions for cyclonic formation at the peak of the season. The precipitation anomalies forecasted by this model are particularly concentrated in the Caribbean region and the tropical Atlantic zone where we typically see the formation of dangerous hurricanes. Green anomalies represent more rainfall than usual, indicating favorable conditions or the trajectory of some tropical cyclones through this area. Clearly, the combination of La Nina and the Pacific, warmer temperatures in the tropical Atlantic and the Caribbean Sea, can potentially lead to a dangerous and more active season than we experienced last year. Although this forecast may undergo significant changes, we will remain vigilant for the next models that will be released in the coming days to see if they all coincide in the possibility of a more active than usual season in the Atlantic. In fact, in December, Tropical Storm Risk published its early forecast for the 2024 hurricane season, predicting 20 tropical storms, 9 hurricanes, and of these, 4 major hurricanes reaching Category 3, 4, or 5. These numbers are higher than usual considering a normal season has about 14 storms, 7 hurricanes, and 3 intense hurricanes. Well, that's all for this video. I wanted to let you know that in the next few days, I'll be recording a video to discuss some changes that the National Hurricane Center will be implementing regarding the forecasts for the Atlantic region. Stay tuned to Hurricane Info and remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button below the video that says subscribe. 
Then click on the bell to receive notifications when I upload new videos. I hope you all have an excellent 2024, and I'll be accompanying you again during this hurricane season to bring you the latest and most accurate information about the hurricane season, both in the Atlantic and the Eastern Pacific region. See you later.